Hi Petals, it's Dee Dee Flowers. Welcome back to my channel if you're one of my flowers. You see what I did there? Followers, flowers, flowers. Anyways, that was lame. If you're new, welcome. I'm a drag queen based in the south of England and I tend to post videos on all things drag related. I would like to think that my videos will be helpful for anyone interested in drag or just anyone who is a flamboyant person. So if there's anything you'd like to see me do in particular, then let me know in the comments and I will see what I can do. Also, if you enjoy this video, then feel free to press the subscribe button and we'll welcome you into the family bouquet. I'm gonna try and post more regular videos and I'm aiming for once a week, now I have all this spare time. I'm not gonna go on about it for too long, but I just wanna say that I know this is a really worrying time for everyone at the moment, what with uh, COVID-19. I think it's really important to focus on the things that make you really happy at this time. And drag makes me so happy. Because you need to look after your mental health and when you're binge watching the news channels and focusing on what people are panic posting on social media, it's really easy to get wrapped up in that and get yourself into a right old anxious mess. And I know that I've had a couple of wobbles over the last few days for that very reason. So I'm just taking this time now to take a step back and focus on the things that I enjoy doing like drag and makeup and just videos and silliness. You've got to look after yourself and look after your family and your friends and your neighbours. And if there's someone that you know is by themselves and we're on a lockdown, then send them a text message or ask them if they want to FaceTime or video call. They might really appreciate it or they might be in the middle of a box set and tell you where to go. <laughs> I hope that what comes out of this is the realisation that we are a small planet and what affects one country could quite easily affect all of us. So we need to work together and look after each other. And that's it, I'm done. That's my Miss Universe piece. So let's get on with the tutorial. I wanna bring you just a really quick and easy tutorial for today. And I often get asked how I do my boobs. So today we're gonna to do a breast contouring tutorial. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, then keep on watching. So these are the things you'll need. Cream foundation in a few different shades going from dark to light. A lip or eyebrow pencil. A beauty blender. Some makeup brushes. Some setting powder. A highlighter. And some setting spray. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got a nice smooth canvas. And as you can see, I'm a little bit stubbly at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and use my body groomer to get rid of the stubble and I'll be right back. A few moments later. Now that I look like a worm, we're ready to map out where our breasts are going to go. And for this part, I like to put my dress back on so I can see where the breasts are going to start from. So you can use a bowl as a template to map out where you want your boobs to go. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my pencil just to mark where the center is. And then from that dot, I'm just going to start just one side of that mark. And then again on the other side, And that's the shape that we're left with. There we go. So what we want to do now is we want to use our darkest cream contour stick and we just want to follow the line that we've already created and just blend that out. And I'm just extending it down at the bottom just so that it would disappear behind the dress. Just 
just tidying up any mistakes with a makeup wipe. There we go. And then what you want to do then is use your beauty blender just to blend that out. And the technique I use is I kind of drag the product inwards a little bit. And then when I get to the top, I kind of drag it in the direction that they're going, just to kind of blend it out a little bit more. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to use your in-between color, your, your medium one, and you kind of want to just go close to the line you've already created. like that and then just on the chest at the top here and then you want to blend those together And then what you want to do is use your lightest color and you just want to go on the in, inner side of those lines. And then you want to use your beauty blender just to try not to blend it in too much at this section here but then you just want to blend it out at the top. So I'm just going to switch to a cleaner beauty blender. So something like that. And then I'm just going to use the same really light colour, one white, on the edges of the breast like that. And then just to blend that in very well and that will help give you the illusion of a curve. Okay, and then once you're happy with that, you can set it with translucent powder. And then dust off any excess with a big fluffy brush. So now you can go in with your powder contour and I tend to use a couple of things. I tend to use the MUA Lux Bronze and Sculpt Contour which is kind of a duo. There's the contour color. And then I also use the Nip and Fab eyeshadow palette, which has got lots of neutral colors in there, sort of dark to light. So I'm just gonna start with the bronze and, con the bronze and sculpt contour palette. So I'm just gonna use this brush and dip into that. And then I'm just going to Follow the line I've already made. And I'm concentrating most of the powder at the bottom and then just sort of dragging it up ever so slightly because I want to make sure that the darkest point is at the innermost point here because that's where the shadow would be if I had real breasts. 
Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna to switch to a smaller brush and with the Nip and Fab palette, I'm just gonna kind of go for this one here, I think, which is kind of like a medium, medium brown. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna to switch to an even smaller brush and I'm gonna use uh, this one here, which is the next one down from the one I just used, uh, which is ever so slightly darker still. I'm just gonna concentrate that right on the inner corner here. And then I'm just gonna use the brush I used before and just go back in with an ever so slightly lighter one and just marry those two together. And then I'm just gonna use a highlighter. This is the MAC Double Gleam Extra Dimension Highlighter. So I'm just gonna use this with a brush just on where the high points would be on the breasts. And then I'm just gonna put another little bit just here as well. And then you can see that sort of catches the line. There we go, and that's the finished contour. And then the last thing you wanna do is just um, set it with a setting spray. That will just help it to last and also to help it stop from rubbing off on your dress. So this is the finished result. I'm really pleased how it came out. I think it looks quite natural. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, then give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so you can be alerted when I post my next video. I'll list all the products I use in the description bar below. Once again, take care. Be kind and I'll see you soon.